Welcome back to my channel. It has been forever since I have filmed. Um, I think it's been since like the second week of December. I have filmed a little bit on my Instagram, like little reels. But even with that, um, we got COVID and after that, I just honestly have not been like back in a routine, kind of been in a funk, don't have all my energy back and just, yeah. Anyways, I've been MIA, haven't really posted much on Instagram, just haven't really been in the mood. Sometimes I really want to share and then other times I just want to fall off the face of the earth and <laughs> don't want to post anything personal. Um, I also really hate that um, I feel like social media kind of takes away from relationships with family and friends because I feel like people don't check on you or like interact with you, text you, call you, whatever, um, because they think they know what's going on. And I'm, I don't say that in like a negative way, but it's true. I feel like people don't check in on Emerson and see like what she's doing or whatever because they think they know from social media, which is not the truth because I don't post everything. But anyways. Um, I have this constant battle of like posting everything because I love to do that and wanting to be super private. So today I wanted to pick up the camera so that's what I'm doing. Um, tomorrow is Emerson's first birthday so I literally can't believe it. The past week, um, last week we had her photo shoot and that's when it hit me and so this past week it's just like surreal. Um, I don't think we really have plans tomorrow, but we're having her a small birthday party on Saturday because we're having it at our house and since it's cold outside, it's going to be inside, so we just don't have a lot of room. I wish that we could have more of our friends, especially we have several friends that have kids her age, but maybe in future years. So we also, another reason that I wanted to film, because I know I'll want to remember this when I have more kids, but we also started the weaning process with breastfeeding yesterday. Um, if you follow me on, or if you're friends with me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram, which you probably do, I made a post about it because during her first birthday photo shoot, I wanted a picture of us breastfeeding just to remember it by um i'm really proud of making it to a year and um i know it's gonna be really emotional and a big deal for us to quit so that's another huge thing we have going on i started that yesterday so <clears throat> i wasn't really sure how i was gonna do it um but she started cutting back on feeds before we got COVID. And then once we were sick, um, she was nursing more. And honestly, I was glad because I felt like, you know, that was good for her. So yeah, when we were sick, she was nursing more. So then we went right back into like our normal nursing every three hours from the time she wakes up till she goes to bed. So I decided that I was going to try to cut down to just twice a day. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do three times a day or two, but I just don't want to drag it out too much. I want to go ahead and cut down to two times a day. Um, I have my first wedding of the year um, in like a month, and I definitely do not want to be having a pump while I'm doing that wedding. So that's the reasoning why I want to be cut down in the morning and night. Anyways, yesterday was our first day, like I said, and I nursed her when she first woke up. Sorry, Diesel was outside and he was trying to go after the neighbor's dog. So, yeah, we nursed first thing yesterday morning and um, I figured nap time and bedtime would be kind of harder. Um, so for her first nap, she kind of like wanted to nurse, but it was pretty easy to distract her. Um, so we went all day without nursing and I decided that instead of... Um, feeding her around seven when she goes to bed. I don't want her to like fall asleep nursing anymore. So I decided that around like five, we would do our 
second and final session of the day. Um, so yeah, that's what I did yesterday. I didn't start hurting until like two o'clock and when I started hurting, I was pretty uncomfortable. And I thought, oh my gosh, how am I gonna make it till four or five? But I did. And um, also, she was really, really irritated from the whole milk. She's had whole milk here and there. I've already introduced it because that's what our pediatrician told us we could do at 10 months. Um, so I've introduced it here and there and she's done okay. But yesterday she had a lot more of it. She had a god awful diaper rash. So I decided this morning I went and got some almond milk and I'll probably keep trying to introduce whole milk. But for now we're gonna do almond milk, which she's also already had. I always have almond milk in the fridge too. And um, I've given it to her before too. So anyways, bedtime was kind of rough. I wanted to let Austin put her to sleep so that it would make it easier on us. And um, since I've always breastfed, I basically just do everything with her, like put her to sleep, all the feedings, all that. Um, so I let Austin, hey, would you click it under the kitchen sink? Click it under the kitchen sink. You're so rotten. So yeah, I let Austin do the bedtime routine. I give her a bottle and, and it was kind of rough. She fought him. He went to lay her down once. She woke up. He got her to sleep again. She woke up again. So I went in there and checked and sure enough, she had another dirty diaper. And like I said, she was really irritated. So I just took over then and nursed her to sleep. So yeah, I guess technically we kind of broke the only feeding twice thing yesterday, but it was a start. So today I nursed her when she woke up. Your hair's crazy. And then we went all day and I just nursed her around like four. Um, she fell asleep yesterday afternoon when I nursed her, so I didn't want that to happen again today, her falling asleep that late, that close to bedtime. So I went ahead and fed her around 4.15, and we're doing good. I hurt less today already. Um, so yeah, but I also fed right before bed last night. I ended up feeding twice last night, so I'm kind of nervous that overnight and tomorrow might be a little bit worse but we'll see and then i don't know we're just gonna see how it goes we're gonna do this for like a week and depending on how well she adjusts or like you know i don't know i don't know if like next week i'll go ahead and drop another feed or and so and make it like a three-week process where each week i drop a feed until we're done i don't know if i'll keep doing morning and night for like another month I'm not sure. Sorry if there's a bunch of cuts in this video. I'm trying to cook supper and talk to y'all. Since I've been talking for like 15 minutes already, I'll probably have to split this video and like the actual party video. I don't know, we'll see. But anyways, we just felt like chatting and making, oh, <laughs> don't kick my wand over. We just felt like chatting and making a video. So we've just been running errands today. Huh. I'm gonna get her right here. I'm gonna get her. Let me count her ribs. One, two. For supper, we're cooking egg roll in a bowl. So hopefully it's good. Never tried it before, but I saw it on TikTok. So hopefully it's good. Austin wasn't supposed to be working late, but he is. So hopefully not too late. We'll see when he gets home. We really wanted to shampoo our couch tonight. Um, since we were sick and just kind of in general, I want to clean it before everybody comes over. Oh, also, I kind of promised myself that I would start doing my own nails. Um, I have all the stuff at home to do dip and gel. And, yeah, I just, I do them occasionally, but not, like, regularly. So, I promised myself 
kind of like for the new year that I would start doing that for myself like every two to four weeks so this is like my third time doing my nails I think in the past two or three times I don't know I've been doing tips and dip and then I do like a gel top coat or gel polish over top so that they're like super shiny where are you going um but this Yeah, there's your balloon. But this time I just did gel. And also I used Krista Horton's Nail Girl as my inspiration. She always tags her Instagram, so I follow her. And this was from like Valentine's Day last year or something. But um, yeah, so this is my first time doing design. Do not judge me. I'll show you my bad hand first. And I ended up, I meant to do the heart the other way. So I kind of messed up. But this is just supposed to be like little dots. <laughs> Obviously, that's a heart. These are kind of messed up. But Emerson Lake, my goodness, you're so talkative. But yeah, so I got X's and O's and just like some little abstract right here, lines, and then a heart. So yeah, hopefully over time I'll get better at that. But I'll insert the picture that I like, followed on the screen.